uh, when I was when I just saw Kenya 60, the Lord spoke to me about Isaiah 60. Arise and shine, for your time has come. This nation is going to arise, is going to shine. The time has come for our country. The time has come for our nation. Of course, this is a very new thing that is happening. The nation has never had, you know, uh, the presence of God at the helm of the, you know, political landscape of our nation before. So powers of darkness are trying to, uh, you know, to cover the nation. But the Bible says when gross darkness will come, then the Lord is going to cause uh, you to shine. Arise and shine for your light has come. Gross darkness shall cover the people. So you have to understand that when gross darkness is covering the people, it is your time to shine. It is our time as a nation. It is our time as a church to arise and shine. And we are going to arise and shine. I am perturbed because of, um, you know, the many pastors and ministers of the gospel that are being swept off their feet and their focus. They are not able to focus anymore because they, uh, they think that uh, the world has to prosper uh, and then the church prospers. No, listen to me carefully. When the world is crying, it is a season for the church to move. The reason they are crying is because their demons have been defeated and they are not able to cause them to win anymore. Babylon the Great is fallen and the smoke is rising up and the children of the kingdom must understand that. And then you give yourselves wholly unto God so that you can arise and shine. I see pastors, uh, you know, arising and shining. I see people that seem to be somewhere down there arising and shining. I know that many people think that uh, Babylon has to continue to reign. But Babylon the Great is broken, is brought down, a smoke is ascending up, you know, all the way to heaven. And God has judged it in a minute. The system that used to be there, the things that have been, you know, forcing demonic people to be the ones that have power, that have energy, that are able to make business work, that are able to make money, that Babylon is broken. Kenya, it is your season. Arise and shine for your light has come. Listen to me carefully. God is so much in this nation. Don't listen so much about the negative voices that are speaking. They are sent by the devil to cast the nation, to cast the land, to speak ill of our president, to speak ill of our nation, to speak ill of the church. They are blaming the president, now blaming the church, saying that it is the church that brought him there. Yes, we own up. We say it is true. It is us. It is the church that did it. We are claiming responsibility. Yes, we agree. And we are going to continue to do so and push back powers of darkness, push every demon every demonic agenda because there is a real demonic agenda against our nation and we are pushing and make sure that the nation will arise and shine for our light has come listen to me children of god God is not a respecter of persons. This nation is coming out of obscurity. We are coming out and God is going to show himself mighty on our behalf. Isaiah 60 is our scripture as a nation. As we turn 60, this nation celebrating 60 years, it is our time to arise and shine. Isaiah 60 is our scripture, is our prophetic chapter, is a pro the prophetic chapter of our nation. Isaiah number 60, arise and shine for your light has come. I speak unto His Excellency the President. I speak unto all the leaders around Him. It is the time for the nation to arise. Don't be discouraged. God is with us as a nation. God is with you as the leaders of this nation. We pray for you and God is going to give you that which it takes to take the nation forward and to bring the nation to liberty and to the place of victory in the name of 
Jesus Christ. God bless you. God bless the nation of Kenya. God favor you, Kenya, at 60. May the Lord favor you. Father God, I pray for the nation of Kenya. I command you, Kenya, arise and shine for your light has come. Father, I pray that this nation is not going to go back into oblivion, into obscurity, into darkness. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I speak the lifting up of this nation. When men say there is a casting down, then we shall say there is a lifting up. We declare a lifting up of our nation, a lifting up of His Excellency the President, a lifting up of every leader together with Him in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we declare, let Kenya arise and his enemies be scattered. Let the nation of Kenya arise. Let there be light in the nation of Kenya. We bless you, Kenya, in Jesus' mighty name. We pray and believe. Kenya, you are blessed. At 60, arise and shine, for your light has come.